All right, what is up, guys? Welcome to the first segment of HHS The Slap. I'm your host, Taz, bringing you an interview with Mr. Franchock, the AP language teacher for Hopkinton High School. How are you doing, Mr. Franchock? Good, thanks, Taz. So uh, I want to talk to you about Franchonia. Obviously, it's been coming to an end for a lot of your classes. Um, and for those of you who don't know what Franchonia is, it's the political simulation but done by students in AP English at Hopkinton High School. Has been known to lead to the mental breakdowns and or death of many students within its short three-week period. And they were kind enough to provide some dialogue Hey, are you ready for Franchonia? Kill me now. Hashtag death, hashtag pain, hashtag stress. Yeah, so, um, so you know, I, I thought it was really kind of cool. You could, there are actually t-shirts and mugs and stuff, and um, I, I have to get one uh, oh, I had no for idea it. But yeah, um, I, I do like to think it doesn't cause uh, death or, or any kind of permanent damage to anybody that does it. All right, so uh, with the presidential elec election that has happened this year, did you notice anything different with this year's Franchonia in comparison to previous ones? Yeah, I did actually in a couple different ways. Um, I really noticed a lot more negative ads actually that the kids made this year compared to previous years. And we always have some, but that seemed to be a very normal thing this year more so than other years. And, and I do think it was the influence of what people were seeing around right. them. You know, that's what they see as politics uh, sadly these days. Right. Uh, I also had uh, some students who were very upset after the election, uh, the, the presidential election, and had a hard time um, kind of even dealing with doing our simulation after right. that because, you know, politics was just such a highly charged subject um, for people and it, it kind of made it a little more difficult that way. But we all got through it. Uh, we, you know, we did our results today and uh, everybody seemed to uh, really enjoy that. So it, it ended up being okay. Right. And uh, like we just talked about right now, um, politics can be really tense. So why politics for Franchonia? Well, uh, on the AP language exam, uh, politics and economics are the two topics that come up the most. And a lot of the essays they're asked to write are either about uh, politics or economics. In fact, a couple years ago, there was a question of uh, John F. Kennedy giving a speech uh, complaining about the owners of steel companies raising their prices. Mm -hmm. And so this was a political speech about an economic topic. And, you know, so I do a lot of uh, politics and economics in the class and I, I think one of the best ways to get people to understand political rhetoric is to actually do political rhetoric. Right. And, and so we, you know, we do our speeches and our ad campaigns and debates and things, the kind of things they do because I think that's the only way they're going to understand political rhetoric is to actually be a part of it. Right, and then um, of course this simulation has been happening for about two or three weeks um, and students put hours of work into this, you know, because it's an election and they aren't even graded on it. Why is that? Well, uh, practical reasons and idealistic uh, ideological ones as well. The practical reason is it would be really impossible to fairly assess students, you know, in those groups in Franchonia, uh, as you know, because you were in one, kids do various amounts of work. Some people are working really hard at it, and some aren't really doing anything. And uh, it, it's really unfair if you give a group the grade for their work, and really 95% of that work, you know, came from one person. Now, um, the more I ideological reason uh, that I don't grade is I really believe that we do get a little bit too obsessed with grades, you know, in our education system. And uh, I am really proud of the fact that kids put this much work into something that is not graded. That, you know, that people tend to think uh, that our AP students are so grade obsessed. I, mean, I don't believe they are. I think they're achievement obsessed. I think they want to achieve. They want to work hard and you have that work appreciated. And so, uh, the election results is the assessment. I mean, you know, that's how you're evaluated and how you do it. No, it's not a grade. Uh, it's just a different kind of assessment. And uh, I really like that uh, about Franchonia, that kids are willing to put in that kind of work and be that dedicated uh, when it's not a grade. And, and I honestly don't think I'll ever change that. Um, and, you know, since it's been happening for so long, did you notice any interesting highlights or moments that has happened these past few weeks? Oh, gosh, yes. Um, you know, we had, uh, well, your class, uh, where um, we had the, the VP candidate go rogue on you, and uh, all of the different ways that you guys tried to kind of stop that and cover it up and, and how it eventually, you know, played out. That was a big one. And also in your class, the, the tied election. Uh, you know, I'd never had 
a tie in the Electoral College in, in my you know, little fake country before today. And that was really hard because I had to decide who won when the numbers said it was a tie. And, and so, you know, I went through and I kind of figured out who had the more effective ag campaigns. And, and I did notice that even when I said the Jones team won for that reason, even the Breckenridge team was kind of nodding, saying, yeah, mm -hmm. they, they thought that they you know, worked really hard on their campaign. And so uh, that was kind of different and, and sort of challenging, too. Uh, it just it's, it's been a really good year for Antonio. I had a class that had the best debate I've ever seen. All three candidates did an outstanding job uh, in the debate, and you know, just really pleased to see kind of the work everybody's doing. Right. That's um, actually really interesting how uh, your students are being involved in debates. Do you think that's actually helping any of their improv skills uh, for f you know time in the future? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, we're actually going to do a debate tournament in the spring. Uh, so we're going to be kind of doing more with that. Um, but yeah, I, I think debating skills are very important. You know, w you have to be able to articulate positions. You have to be able to understand other sides' positions and uh, being able to argue with for and against topics and uh, do so in, in a, a strong, logical way. I think one thing we see too much in politics is that lack of logic in those arguments, you know, and people just kind of yelling at each other and, right. and not really um, making the kind of logical points that I hope you know students would make in a debate. All right, final question. So, um, do you have anything to say to the underclassmen that are thinking about taking AP language this uh, next year? Oh, well, I hope they do. Um, we have, you know, we've had our class grow a lot uh, over the last. Well, I guess it's been 13 years I've been doing this class, and uh, we've grown from my first year was something like 17, 18 people took. Lang, and we, you know, we're over 80 now. Wow. I mean, it's been a big change. Um, so, you know, it, it's, I think it's a good class. I think it's uh, fun. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, it's hard work, um, right. but uh, I like to think students, you know, learn a lot from it. All right. Well, that'll be it. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Okay, Franchock, thanks, for thanks. doing this interview. Thanks. We'll see you guys later.